Welcome back. We, it has been a while. And I've been very busy getting stuff ready for an upcoming project. But I've got a video today. There's nothing on this table right now, but there's about to be. It's another review. Now, this one I wanted to leave until later. I may not get time to do it, so I thought, all right, let's let's get it ready today. I am going to be re reviewing or finding, essentially, finding the, the best chocolate milk. Now, everyone loved the iced coffee and the coffee and the flavored milk. And I know I said I'd do a co chocolate one and you guys wanted me to do this chocolate one. So we're here today going to be doing exactly that. Being from Newcastle, can't get, like people are gonna watch this and gonna be like, you don't have that, you don't have that. Why did you do that one? There's not, uh, to be honest, when you go to the shops, there's actually not that many. Um, there's more iced coffee flavor than chocolate milk. I have, I collected five from a variety of different shops. I will show you them in just a second. All right, these are the ones. This is the ones we have collected today. You know it says iced chocolate, but Barista Bros is one of, it's owned by Coke. It's another one that people have been getting. Thought I would pu put it in the mix. We'll see how it compares up with the rest. These are going versus each other. But the oak, classic oak, popular, classic. Champ, Champ's Aldi's brand. Now Champ's iced coffee did really well in my last one. So I've got high, kind of high expectations for that one. Now Norco, some Australian milk. This is, I would have, this is good. I think this would be a good one, I reckon. I would, would have liked to get like a farmer's union or dairy farmers a staple that I missed, but I'm sure you guys might know ones I've missed. I'm gonna start with Dairy Farmers. Now Dairy Farmers, pretty stable. I don't think it's changed too much. A lot of sugar in these, so I'm not gonna drink too much. We don't get sick. Ooh. Mmm. Mm -mm. Funny, it says a four health star rating. I think someone was telling me the health star rating is in reference to other things of its kind. So four stars in terms of versing these. Still got like 45 grams of sugar. That's pretty good. I might give that um, I might give that a bloody, start off with like a three and a half. So it's not too bad. Let's go oak. Oak, feed hungry guys. Full flavor, full strength, full on. Oak really hits the spot when you're hungry, thirsty. With over 40 years experience and choice of rich, creamy, authentic flavors. Oak is always the answer. Anyway, no health star rating on this bad boy. They don't even bother. This has got a small bottle. It's got a little bit more sugars, unfortunately. Classic, classic carton. Yeah, there's something there. Ah, there's something on this one. It's pretty sweet, nice chocolate, kind of definitely a richer, a richer th flavor, kind of like a darker. It's pretty good. Oh, you can't go it wrong. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go, go 425. 425 for the oak. All right, we'll go the Barista Bros. It is from, it, it is milk, but it's not as it's not as um, creamy. I'm gonna say, I think, from memory, iced chocolate. Okay, yeah, look, not so great. It's got more of that um, it's got more of what's going on? It's got more of a long life flavor. Um, yeah, kind of still nice, but also like yeah, it's got that for um long life milk. But it's definitely slightly different to the other ones. More like less less creamy. So I guess if you don't want a super creamy, this is more like I'd compare it to a set maybe like a Milo, or if you make your own Milo, because it's not as thick. But it's definitely got a it's got a nice taste, chocolate wise. It's different. I don't know. Sometimes you kinda of might want that. <sighs> Iced chocolate Brewster Bros. Maybe maybe a three in comparison to the others. Let's go for the Norco. 
pretty excited for this one from the North Coast. So if you're around SA or Victoria, Victoria have there's other milks. I'll have to try and find some more, but I know there are other ones. But we this is more of an East Coast. There's a South Australian one that is good, and I can't think of the name of it, but it's really good. Fluor, fluor, fluoro Peninsula. All right. Give that more of a shaker. I think 440 mil. Interesting choice of mills, I would say. So in comparison to the other ones, mm, interesting. Mm, okay. Interesting. Not as good. Definitely not as good. There's something like maybe the chocolate's not so not so thick, thick maybe. It's still pretty good. It doesn't really go against the, so far the oaks. It's okay. Don't know if I'd get it again, unfortunately. Would you get it again? Tell me. What am I reviewing next? What are you reviewing next? I'm the milkman. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. It's kind of thick. It's got a thick kind of texture to it, but maybe a little too sweet and you can't taste the actual chocolate. I give it a three. Lucky last. Chump. Aldi. I love Aldi. You and I know. You know that? I know that. Chump. The cheapest of the lot, obviously. It's made from Australian milk, even though it, yes it is Aldi. Australian chocolate flavoured milk for true champions. Pretty like, they're all very similar. Full fat flavoured milk. So this is... Oh, what do you think I'm thinking? That hit me di different. Okay, it's between the oak and the dairy farmers. Definitely not as good. The champ ice coffee is really good. Champ chocolate? Mm. Champ chong? You still out? So it's like. A manufactured kind of taste of it, but I'm not, not really, not really vibing. Yeah, that's not so great. I can't really describe it, but it's 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 not there for me as a milkman. No, not today, unfortunately. So, really wanted this one. I think it might be coming last. It might be a two out of five. Let us. These are the flavors. I reviewed them for you, for me, for everyone. Yeah, the winner, this bad boy here, Yo. She's the winner. Winner, not by too much. I mean, if I was the other one, I don't know, like, I think, I kind of, in the end, the Bristol Rose is kind of not so bad. Didn't like the Norco so much. Dairy Farmers, yeah, it was, it was okay. Yes, the oak. What did I say? 425? Pretty deserving. I'm gonna mix them all together and I'm gonna see is it any better with five and one. Alright, <sighs> what do you reckon? Will this one be any better? Nah, it's worse. No. No, no. Something. Anyway, we have reached the end of my review. This week's episode. Hope you guys like me talk about milks again. It's been a while. Been a while. Stay tuned for some very exciting upcoming videos. For you. For everyone. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching as usual. And let me know what should I do next? 